Hey guys, welcome to C Sharp tutorial. I'm Ripon Dutta. Today I'm gonna show you how to create extension method. So let's get started. Uh, one thing I wanna mention you that if you are familiar with link, then you might notice there are a lot of extension methods. Today I will show you how to create extension method. So let's go to the console application. Give the application name extension method all right all right so our project is created so what we need to do is we need to create a static class this is the requirement for extension method so we can create a static class so add class let's say this is my extension all right make it public then make it aesthetic Oops. okay so um for example i want to create a um, an add method so it should be public and it must be aesthetic so it will return integer name add so here is another requirement the first parameter should be using this and it will take integer type parameter let's say a then second parameter let's say b then you can even add more parameters as well oh, so it will return simply a plus b so this is our first extension method now go to the main program and let's see how to use it for example i have a variable which is x equal let's say 5 then i want to add x with as you can see now there is a add method for the x variable add let's say 10 then i want to print it and let's see red answer control f5 15 5 plus 10 15 so how it is working in this case this extension method basically takes first parameter for a is x and second parameter should be the parameter so if you don't have any parameter let's say i want to create another method which is static integer half this method only return the value of half so this integer let's say source so it will return only source divided by 2 right now let's use it let's say I want to get the value half of 20 dot um, let's say 50 okay and expected or result equal half dot half method and that's it now print the value which is result let's see yes 25 so 25 is the half of 50 that means 
the first parameter of extension method will take the source which is this one and in this case a is the first parameter then b will be added with the value which is 10 and you can create you know you can even overwrite the method i mean let's say i want to create more method so integer c so what will be happen so this is overloading method now if i want to add more value let's say x dot add now as you can see there are two methods one is the first one which is integer b another one is integer b and integer c the second one now let's see i want to add uh let's say 100 comma now as you can see this is highlighted the second one which is integer c let's say 50 so now console output right line g now run the project control f5 as you can see 155 because x is 5 and i'm adding 100 which is so 105 then 50 so 155 so this is a very useful method you can create the extension methods and you can even add uh, more overloading methods as you want that means so this is an useful feature in dotnet framework now i want to show you one more cool uh, thing that is uh, let's say i want to create another method we see is basically uh, let's say double so it will take the value and make it double that means it will return the value source into 2 now let's say I want to create another method static it will a square so source it will return source into source so what is the uh, advantage now I want to show you another advantage how can we take advantage from extension method this is let's say I have a variable I have a variable let's say for example s and it has a value 100 now I want to uh, create another variable which is let's say the uh, rest equal s dot i want to make it half all right so it will make half then dot i want to make it um a square all right then i want to make it double then i want to make it uh what whatever you want i mean i want to add now so i want to add a <laughs> value let's say um, 5 then I want to what okay now let's see the result what is the result control f5 5005 now let's calculate it so what I need I need a calculator all right 
so first of all i have a value 100 then i am making it half divided by 2 50 then i am making it a square so this is the square all right then i am making it double double means into 2 then i am adding 5 that means 5005 so see this is a very cool feature and what i uh, wanted to show you is this you can add these methods like this way and even you can add these methods uh, i mean if i need to add any method in middle anywhere i can add any method let's say add i want to add an add that's a 10 so now let's see the value is 7205 so this is the cool feature in dotnet framework i hope you enjoyed this and you will create more and more extension method in your program so it will be very easy to handle your uh, methods in your program so thank you very much if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have any comment or if you wanna give a feedback please write in the comment box so it will be very helpful to make more videos for me so thank you